Okay, so today I'm going to talk about my IBM PC. It came with a 20 megabyte hard drive, I believe, and a um, 640 kilobytes of RAM, as, uh, as opposed to the 64 kilobytes. Because my other computers, I, a computer I have, my Franken computer, is very similar to this one. I have stuff like an extra, I have stuff like an extra power supply and a whole crap load of boards. Most of them don't work because I've uh, I got that computer when I was eight. I didn't really know much about computers and I kind of ruined it. But oh well, I can fix them if I really need them. This computer really came together whenever I, I whenever I found my uh, this copy of MS DOS. This is the big leap forward for my PC collection. Uh, oh, here it is. Microsoft MS DOS from DDK Computers. I also have a game, UMS Military Simulator. I doubt it'll be much fun, but oh well, I can try it out. And somewhere, oh yeah, the Microsoft pack on bundle that I got came with a DOS floppy, and it also came with a uh, a basic floppy. It's somewhere in here. GW Basic. I love Basic. So pretty much, in one bundle, I get two different operating systems. Okay, so now we have DOS booted up, and it's asking for a date, I don't care. It's asking for a time, I don't care. Dir, directory. Readme.txt. Text. Um, opening dot exe. I have froze it. Okay, so now let's see inside of the machine. Oh yeah, no. The IBM label still has this, the original cover on it, a little plastic cover. Can't believe someone hasn't torn it off yet. Usually I rip that stuff off right when I get it. This is the motherboard. It's a lot smaller than an average motherboard. It's I think it's 8 inches by 12 inches, and that's all. Oops. 
the boards, the slots are very, very short. They're 8 bit. <clears throat> this is a card that, this isn't one of the original cards, it's one that I got from a, from a, a thrift shop. It's called a Titan 2. But anyway, we have a 200 watt power supply. This is very, very large. But hopefully that would that would mean it would last a long time. Then what we have is we have tw the 20 megabyte hard drive, and the hard disk drive is actually controlled by a PCI uh, not, by, not PCI um, a slot card. And if you look closely, the card actually ha has to have its own power hookup. It can't run off of the off of the motherboard. But I was hoping to use this hard drive controller on a different hard drive I have. This is a Quantum Pro Drive. It has 80 megabytes, which would be a step up from 1992, I think. But unfortunately, that uh, that controller only works with the Western Digital Drive. This is just a slot holder. It is a model WD93028 I think that's the model. Huh. Evidently this, is, this hard drive was a later add-on because it was made September 21st, 1991. So a five and a quarter inch floppy, drive, floppy disk drive. It holds 360, 360 kilobytes of memory, which is fairly adequate for this computer. This, this chip right here is an NEC V20, and I've heard that these computers originally came with an Intel 8088 processor and you could add a b20 processor you could replace the old processor with a v20 and that would add uh, the computer would then be 120 percent faster so i thought that was kind of interesting but that might be the source of all the problems i've been having maybe it's not 100 percent compatible i've been trying to figure out something to do with this computer i'm thinking about maybe trying to hook it up to the internet it, it is possible but it's very, very um, difficult, and you can't really do much on the internet with it. It's just a bunch of text. Or maybe I'll use it for, like, maybe a data server. I don't know. So that's my IBM PC so far. I might make some more videos about it later. Okay, I probably will make some more videos about it later. But whenever I get thing, whenever I get it in shape more, because right now it's kind of in shambles. But it sure is cool. Maybe next video.